it's meaningful. That'll be the World Cup. Yeah. I did a football song once and we needed that for the video and it was hiring it is impossible. Right. So I um, held a cantaloupe in my hand and dipped it in custard. Yes. And it looks almost exactly the same. Okay. That wasn't World in Motion, was it, my son? No, no. I wasn't involved. This was uh, much better. How dare you? That's one of the finest musical breaks in any song. You've got to hold the line and do it at the right time. I'm impressed that you know that. That, I was, that was when I broke with football, just before then. You look like a footballer. I do, thank you for noticing it. Do you want to hear the traumatic story? Yes. I hope you're doing a slow zoom. I was captain of the football team up until 11 at primary school. I was in the football team at eight, playing with 11 year olds. I was a lad oh, of natural talent, man, fast, were, grace, yeah. elegance, vision. At 11, new school, Catholic boys school, only played rugby. I was in a segmented, siphoned off scholarship sets. I was denied football at lunchtime. A victim of your own intelligence. And perhaps, let's just put it out there, the world's greatest footballer was snuffed out before I'd reached my teens. But and in protest, I never played football again. It is quite a horrible story, It's though, a terrible story. You could have been. I just think you might have been a different bloke if you'd I become exiled. a professional footballer. Well, the world will never know. Mm. But yeah, anyway, if so, they weren't zooming in, they can put it on in post. I was told that there's two or three World Cups. One of them is kind of solid gold, so okay. I think it just goes from vault to vault. OK. But me and uh, David Baddiel once um, borrowed a World Cup we just used it for a photo shoot okay. and a man came in an armoured car kind of right. thing and he had to be there at all times. And he said, this is the one that's going to be presented to the, the winning captain in a couple of weeks' time. Right. And then he had to go to the toilet and when he was out the room, I, I, um, I robbed my private parts on the World Cup. Oh, I thought you were going to say David Baddiel. No, that's another story. Yeah. And... Uh, when France won the World Cup yeah. um, a couple of weeks later and I watched the captain kiss the World Cup having won it, I felt I was organically part of the whole experience. He died three weeks later. Of course he did. Yeah. Hit by a car. No, um, septicema. We've both told moving, personal, revelatory stories here. It's, inter it's almost like this is some sort of mystical crystal that, yeah. that triggers the deepest that's right deepest origin stories we should meet here for therapy every week can we make it every month every month yeah a week as soon as the word week left my lips i thought that's 52 times too regular i just realized today that the world cup is uh, coming up at time of recording we're recording this in may mm. who do you think will win the world cup so that when this is broadcast you can look a full i think england will win the world cup okay are you saying that because it's impossible for England to win? No. I've got, I've just got, it's come from this, be, just being here, I, I sort of knew as soon as okay. I stood next to it, that the next time I saw this, um, it would be in the arms of a young Englishman. Okay. Or is it that I would be in the arms of a young Englishman? I don't know, that, there's yes. something going on in my head of that nature. Okay. I remember when Muesli, in general, arrived in England. I remember when kettle chips came in. I remember um, when tea bags came out. Tea bags came out? Mm. And it was Thai Fu, I think, were the pioneers. And their slogan... Frank, how old are, are you a vampire? I am old? old. No, no, it's not that long ago. It's sort of... When was it? Tea bags? 1961 or something. And this is like, you know, commercial, they might have been, had them in laboratories. But... The, 1960, the, what, what, so you were three? I was four. And you remember the shift from loose leaf to bag? I remember that the word went round that there was... These what, round the kindergarten? Tea bags. No, hey, in, uh, round the family. Tony, Tony, Bill, there come over no, here. <laughs> there were no Word on the street is, um... <laughs> you, you like caffeinated beverages, don't you, Tony? Yeah, well... <laughs> But the slogan, yeah. Thai food slogan was, no, <laughs> no teas in a bag. That was a short meeting. 
Do we do we eat that? I never do. Anything sticking out at right angles from the dish is a garnish. So and I'll you've got to take your chances. I'll leave yeah. the spoon as well. Yeah. I once, um, my first middle class girlfriend and I went to her house and the family did me uh, a big yeah. spaghetti bolognese. And I got the bay leaf. And I didn't know better, so I, I ate it. Right. It was like eating a small medieval shield. What did the parents say? Was they it commented just, upon? They just raised their eyebrows. They're probably more concerned that you had your top off. <laughs> probably couldn't see your expression through your welding mask. You want to try the hot chocolate? 64% cacao. What's the rest of it? Milk. Oh. So it's cacao and cow? Yeah. It didn't last long, that double act. There was too much overlap. That's chocolatey, isn't it? quite good, isn't it? It's not what I said. I said it's chocolatey. It's too chocolatey? It's, I think it's... Yeah, I think it developed. Too over chocolatey? It. Too chocolatey, that's my review. You can't have what, too much. Too much cacao. I think it's very good. And in fact, I think it could possibly withstand even more cacao. Oh, and also, no. I love to see a doily. Yeah. I might let, take that back as a, an anti-macassa for my action man sofa. OK. That'll be nice. It'll stop you having to make one. Again. It's all a bit 70s fondue, isn't it? It's the kind of thing I associate with the idea of key parties. Yeah, I think there was, there was some partner swapping. <coughs> there was also um, chocolate fondue people yes. used to do. Yeah. Again, very creepy feelings about the chocolate fondue. Anyone dipping a strawberry in something, that's not all they want to dip in. <laughs> Heck of a pickle down there. I like the, the cheese with the... I'm surprised they haven't come up with something that's uh, cheese and onion flavoured as a popular snack. I know. I still feel this is slightly seedy. You know, my wife and I are very broad mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> How do you feel about societal restrictions? <laughs> I don't know that we're meant to be monogamous. In that outfit as well, you look like... Do you remember in the Emmanuel films, there was always like a sexual expert, was older man? Please. I haven't seen them, but I can picture myself. And he always said things like, um, love, love is like an exotic orchid, a man who wears. And that's my casting. Yeah, I think uh, so. So like the mentor, but not actually getting involved. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think if people don't finish the fondue, do they pour it straight down the sink or do they let it cool down and then scrape it out? I think they let it set and use it as placemats. Yeah. Or just put it straight on the walls by the look of it. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? I, um, I think it's exceptionally nice. <coughs> you are right? hot. No. I keep feeling like we should be in a tent. The bub I, I don't know. I don't know about the whole thing. It still feels massively creepy. I don't know why I've got some, it's something to do with the texture, the long spoons, the continual heat, sort of the vague smell of gas. I feel I'm going to basically end up in the back of a caravan having done something that I need to make a phone call about. You know, if the bottom's burnt, do you know what it's called? I'll tell you what it's called. Go on. Grandmother. Don't know why. And do people, are you supposed to eat grandmother? Or is that abandoned if burned? I think like in life, don't eat grandmother. <coughs> okay. But do abandon. <laughs> do abandon grandmother. Okay. And leave grandmother for someone else to deal with. As in life.